With summer break quickly approaching and temperatures heating up outside, it's almost time to hit the pool or head to the lake. Now there are some illnesses to be aware of before you take a dip. Joining us now is Dr. Dale Bradsler with OU Health. Dr. Bradsler, so what kind of swimming related illnesses are doctors seeing the most? Yeah, so every year as we open pools in the uh, summer, uh, kids that go swimming uh, can get a variety of different illnesses. Skin rashes aren't uncommon. Uh, and of course, everybody's heard of swimmer's ear, a bacterial infection that occurs in the outer canal of the ear. But there can be some more serious infections that occur uh, even in swimming pools. So there are certain bacteria and organisms that can live in chlorinated swimming pool water and can cause nausea or diarrheal illnesses. So we strongly encourage kids when they're going swimming and adults also to shower before you get in the pool. Most public school um, pools will have a, uh, a shower available and then shower when you get out of the water before you go home. Dr. Bratzler, how are this, these diseases spread? Well, most of the time it's because people who have the infection get in the water and then the water as I mentioned, some of these organisms can live in the water even though the water has been chlorinated. So the best way to protect yourselves is both washing off before you get in, which if there's anything on your body that might cause an infection, that will be helpful, but also wash off afterwards. Try to avoid drinking the water also, that's important. <laughs> yeah, tell the little ones that, right? So is it just a no-no if we're sick or we have an upset stomach, should we just stay out of the pool? Yeah, largely we recommend that people, particularly if they've had any recent GI illnesses that included diarrhea, that they avoid going to the pool until they're fully recovered. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about ponds, those little lakes maybe. We've heard, you know, not often, but we have heard of brain-eating amoebas. Is that a real thing that can happen? Yeah, it's real. Uh, I've seen one case in my career and it's devastating because it's almost always fatal. So we don't need to worry about it too much right now because the water is still cool and we've had lots of rain, so the water has been turning over. But it's in the summer in Oklahoma, ponds, farm ponds, or in coves of lakes where the water isn't moving, where it gets hot, stagnant, that's where this particular amoeba can grow. And um, uh, luckily, we don't see a lot of cases in Oklahoma. I remember one of the last ones that was prominent was reported on, at Lake Murray of a child who got infected with his uh, amoeba. And again, it's almost always fatal when it occurs. Yeah, it's really sad. Well, thank you, Dr. Bratzler. Some great advice as that weather turns warmer and we all want to cool off with a dip in the pool or the lake. All right, if you have a health topic that you would like to hear us discuss during our next Wellness Wednesday, shoot us an email at news at okcfox.com.